Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where my dog is already demanding to go back outside after a four-mile walk. <sighs> He's a pain sometimes. Today we are continuing our way through Superman number 10 with the second story, The Talent Agency Fraud. A story I have so many issues with so quickly. Though, on the bright side, the colorist seems to still be the same, and the colors are quite dynamic, and especially like how the background colors pop like a really rich golden yellow or like a pinkish red. It really stands out. Watch the last video to get what the hell I'm talking about. All right, so here Lois Lane seems to think she's going to become this big model because of the Grady Talent Agency, which is clearly a fraud from the get-go. He's just promising every woman anything to get their money which Lois Lane should be able to see through. In fact, the better version of the story would have had her investigating it and Clark not caring until things ramped up to Lois is going to be killed because she's found some evidence. But no, this is a story I've been given. A bad Lois story. Because essentially the message of this comic is, oh, women? Yeah, it's super sexist. Clark meets Grady and completely sees through this fraud for what it is at the moment he sees it. So Clark decides to go look into it as Superman, you know, Superman, bright blue costume, red cape, Superman. And Grady walks in as Superman is looking through his office. He flies like two feet above Grady and Grady cannot see him. Like he's just yay high above him. So Grady has terrible peripheral vision for this work, so it is quite funny. Grady gets a phone call from one of his clients and panicky leaves the office. Superman goes and follows him and it's a good thing too because at one point he nearly hits a woman. But Superman is hiding under the car and is able to slow it down so he doesn't. So he gets in a fight with one of his clients, this old woman who threatens to, you know, quit and reveal him for what he is. Clark feels like he has enough evidence to prove Grady's fraud. But when he takes Lois as Clark, takes Lois to the old woman. She doesn't seem to remember any of this conversation. This is not exactly all that explained. I'm guessing she's just old and senile and he's taking advantage of her. But once again, it's not really explained. <laughs> Leaving Superman with one of his two options to deal with this. He goes with the option of threatening him. So he grabs Grady, flies him above the city, takes him above a smokestack this time. That's kind of different. And threatens to drop him down there unless he admits his fraud. Grady, not knowing how to deal with the bulletproof man-god, promises to do just that, and Superman brings him back to the women where he emits his fraud. So a pretty simple story that actually could be a lot of fun in several ways, but I just hate how Lois is treated and how pretty much easily he solved this. This is once again a plot where he basically could have just done this from the beginning and there didn't have to be a comic, and yeah, there has to be a comic, but there's still a problem with the fact that after everything, it just leads to him doing this one thing he should have just done at the beginning. If he's going to do that, once again, I don't like it that Superman does this. Threatens guys until he gets his way, but if he's going to do it, why not just save the time and do it from the beginning? Why get my hopes up that Superman can be somewhat more clever or try something different? Okay, so that is it from Superman number 10, The Talent Agency Fraud. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover either the Batman story in Detective Comics or one of the Batman stories in the main Batman comic, just called Batman. And until next time, let us ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? Also, what was wrong with the woman? Was she senile? Why wasn't this explained? Why did no one look into it? They're journalists. Okay, have a great day.